I've already uh, taken cheeseburger and chicken burger and french fry set and a bit of coke. Double cheeseburger. Thanks God, the same one, the same. This new chain is a replacing McDonald's, which is one of the most high profile brands to leave Russia after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Here you can see the menu. Okay, breakfast. I think it's like the same. В нашем меню больше не будет некоторых продуктов. Например, Big Mac и McFlurry. Это связано с тем, что эти названия, эти бренды, их внешний вид, технология производства имеют очень прямую ассоциацию с брендом McDonald's. Opening of the first McDonald's uh, in 1990 was still when the Soviet Union was intact. It was very symbolic. It was seen as Russia's opening to the West. People enjoyed McDonald's. There was something that uh, they could count on on long road trips. Uh, they knew what the quality is going to be. They knew it's going to be clean. The standards are there and they could count on, you know, what they were going to eat. Every member in my family has a uh favorite food set. My mom loves uh, Caesar roll, my grandma likes uh, potato wedges. And uh, I can say that I'm a really big fan of the old McDonald's. Politicians in Russia are positioning this reopening as a way to show that uh, Russia can do well, you know, despite all the sanctions and the boycotts by corporations. It's kind of an easy case that won't prove much. Sure, they will be able to make burgers, but will they be able to make cars? Will they be able to make airplanes? What happens next is unclear. I mean, McDonald's hasn't commented on that. McDonald's can bid on the deal, oh, on the franchise again in the future. We don't know whether it does so or under what circumstances.